Alrighty, well, good evening everybody. Well, I had a, I got a new team that I want to showcase. Um, let me uh, get into it, but uh, before then, or before before I do, um, just gonna have some music going in the background. This time it's gonna be Erection House. It's just gonna be some uh, instrumental hard rock. Um, when I first saw the album cover, I thought it was just gonna be by a bunch of, it was just gonna be this really lame, new metal, limp biscuit type, type stuff, but no, it's actually some pretty good stuff. It's actually some pretty good, um, some pretty good stuff. I mean, I did, I did say it was instrumental, so there's no, there's no whiny vocals or anything like that in there. So, well, let me go ahead and get that fired up. Oh, 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 I gotta, I gotta reset it real quick. So, anyway, um, so recently, uh, I believe actually during this morning stream. I managed to get level 100 Slayer. So, and with the big one being Fireblade, dealing triple skull damage to to burning enemies, and there's something else I need to do here real quick. I totally forgot. Kind of starting off this video half cocked, but. So yeah, anyway, um, triple skull damage, and then you got, you know, you got your classic three, basically, this is a variation on my, <laughs> on my Mr. Squiggles team, my Zolgoth team, all time classic, but this time, this is, um, this is the Slayer class, not the Elementalist, so it's more of a high risk, high reward kind of team. Oh, and in case I didn't say, it's my Skull Goth team. And then Doom Glaive. I've tried various other weapons, um, but eventually I ended up settling on Doom Glaive. Mainly one, it, entang it uh, entangles the enemy, so it's got a tangling in there. And then um, it turns brown gems to Doom Skulls. So there's some uh, skull creation. If you can get a, if you can get a three match, there might be a chance you'll one shot the enemy. Um, if you can get a four match, a four match between Browns and Doom Skulls, it'll still stay your turn. Um, and then um, another thing too is uh, it's green, so it doesn't matter blocks and Turrican or Zolgoth. That was the other thing. I've tried other weapons. I think I went over here. I typed down. I mean, Riving Staff. Excellent weapon, but the big problem is, is it mana blocks both Shuriken and Zolkov. So. It drains mana, too. Uh, I think it gives you uh, one magic. Yeah. So, but again, it mana blocks the Shuriken and Zolkov. So, played a few, uh, did a few uh, runs with this. Like I said, since you're, the other, the bottom two, where these two guys are having a hard time getting up, because Riding Staff was taking all the mana. Um, I think I tried. I think I tried Rope Dart as well, but it's blue, and it also kind of... Yeah, but, uh... I don't mana block Zolgoth, so... Not quite a good weapon, or that good. Yeah, I tried, like I said, I tried Rope Dart recently. Here, let me go ahead and do a, do a demo run. I, that was it. That was it. Okay. Um, I'll kind of demo it here, but 
be eliminating all armor from an enemy for this kind of team is really not that great because between Fireblade and the triple skull, you know, dealing the triple uh, skull damage to burning enemies, and then um, becoming enraged when an enemy dies, he's already going to be dealing a ton of damage, so you don't really need to uh, eliminate any armor. Let me go ahead and knock. Zolgoth, I forgot to mention this a few minutes ago, but he burns all the enemies after you kill one of them. So there go, there's your triple skull damage right there. Yeah, only six health left. Okay, I'm I'm in the middle of a video right now, so I don't really have time. But yeah, I think that I like I said, I was using rope dart for a while. I found it to be not that useful. the one-two punch. So, Zolgoth kills the enemy, burns all the others, creates a bunch of skulls. Slayer takes advantage of, so you're almost killing two enemies with um, one ability. And then, let me show off. Uh, let me show the Doom Glaive. And again, uh, the big thing on Doom Glaive is it doesn't mana block the other these two. So, whereas again, the Rope Dart it had blue, so it kind of got in the way with uh, in the way of Zolgoth. And then something else with Doom Glaive too. You don't with this. You don't need. To make a four, it doesn't need to be a four match in order to use this. Your the big thing is you're just trying to entangle that top guy. That's fine, he's entangled, so. And then, um, Something else too, I don't think we need to, at least for this battle, but on some of these battles that I've been testing this out on, have a lot of impervious, meaning you can neither burn them nor entangle them. So in that case, a 
I'll have to actually switch to Wanda Stars just uh, to be able to curse the enemy so I can, you know, get uh, get the appropriate burning and entangle on them. But it's only an extreme case, like when there's at least two impervious enemies. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Carnex is impervious. Iron Hawk is impervious. So let me go ahead and do that. So let's make a use a wand of stars. But again, it's kinda it can be pretty disastrous if things don't go your way on this. But it be kind but when you have at least two impervious enemies, it's either wand of stars or don't use this team at all. Absolutely no green gems whatsoever. Well, on the upside, lots of purples and yellows. So, curse everybody. He's only got one single hit point. I'm just going to do that. So, yeah. So, yeah, but like I said, Wanda Stars only in extreme cases. Of course, I kind of picked the wrong kingdom for this. A lot of uh, a lot of bomb gems pop up, and a lot of uh, skull reduction. So yeah, so this is pretty much my finished product right here. And then I guess another question that might come up, well, kind of an alternative to Slayer. Could also be Sunspear, but it's only 93. But we got Vault Weekend coming up next week. So I figured that probably a good time to level him up. Because Sunspear 2 has a uh, Fire Blade. But as a added bonus, you can also... You can also tangle tangle the top guy at the start. Um, I think you can freeze somebody, and he's immune to frozen. So it's more defensive, but he doesn't have a he doesn't have the enrage ability. It would probably be a slightly better fit than Slayer. And then one more battle and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do a PvP battle or two do a do a quickie run or two in there that's the one two punch just with that one ability I actually kill two people, not just one. Uh, 
Uh, let's try it again. Nope. Not that time. Now, I did try doing some PvP battles earlier today. Um, it is doable. But not in every single case, though. Um... Yeah, why not? It's time to do 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 for one. That battle, for all intents and purposes, doesn't count. Ugh, I ain't not even gonna bother with that one. More skull damage than I can handle. Uh, let's try this one. Kinda have my doubts, but let's give it a go. Some and something else too. You're also getting a little bit of life on every four, uh, four and five gem match. Okay, I'm feeling brave. Seven life left. That'd be a good time to do it. There we go. Time that one perfectly. <laughs> like, really? One of the reasons why I always skip this MVP screen. <laughs> They're almost always wrong. But, alrighty, but uh, that's going to do it for me. I just wanted to do a quickie dicky demo showcase on that. So let me set to getting this uh, video all prepped up and uploaded to YouTube and all that good stuff. So, but. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.